All right, welcome. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use our tool to create massive lists of keywords. Now, this is perfect for uh, domainers, people that buy out of domains and maybe need to quickly generate lists so they can quickly see what's available rather than one at a time. Or this might be ideal for the average person that quickly wants to see what is available, thin all the other domains out that they don't want, and then they could get the ones registered that they need. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you where you can find this list and how you can access it. And once you do, you might want to bookmark it so you can find it in the future easy. If you go up here to our homepage at usavedomains.com, just on the left side below our search box here where you can search for just individual names, there is the keyword generator tool. Now this tool is going to work in conjunction with our bulk domain checker. So you would generate the list and then you load up the bulk checker plop them into the box and it'll tell you which ones are available and which ones are already owned by other people. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can generate the list. I'm coming back here list. In the middle here you'll see some, uh, some directions. Basically what you'll do on step one is you'll load that bulk checker I just told you about. So I'm going to load that. It's going to load up to a new window and I'm going to minimize it because I don't need it at just this point. And then I'm going to load up the tool. This is where I'm going to generate the list. So let's say I'm in the ticket industry. And let's say I want to find, I want to register domains that say cheap tickets in and then every city or every state. And I want to quickly put that together. So I'm going to type in my keyword, cheap tickets in. Now keep in mind you want to combine them here. I'm going to go up here to my dictionary terms and I have the ability to quickly generate keywords on top cities, top English words, zip codes, African cities, financial terms, food related, nationalities, area codes, nouns, verbs, anything I want. But I'm going to choose North American cities for right now. I'm going to uh, choose my extension that I want. So I want .com, but I could choose any of these other extensions that I want the list to generate. If I want hyphens in between cheap tickets in and then dash the city, I can do that, but I'm not going to do it in this case. And I can choose where I want cheap tickets, if I want it at the beginning of the city or at the end of the city, but I'm going to put it at the front. And now I'm ready to search. And there it is. I've just generated a monster list of probably over 500 keyword terms. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it into our bulk checker, which loaded down here at the bottom of the screen, which I did at step one. I'm going to put my cursor in the box, drop in the keywords. I'm going to I'm going to thin this out by about half, just because I want to make sure that I don't have over 500 domains. Otherwise, it'll tell give me an error. So I'm going to wipe out half of those. I've already got the domain extension, so I don't need to worry about this area. But if I ever generated lists and I I want to wipe out all the .coms, I could quickly do that. Uh, through like a control F. If I was put it into notepad, I'd wipe out everything with the .com and then I could come in here and see what's available under all the other extensions at the exact same time. I'm going to type in the code here so that spammers don't be using it and I'm going to click go. Now what it's going to do is it's going to analyze and see what's available. Anything that's not available is going to load up in yellow here. Here it comes. You can see how fast this is, rather than doing one at a time. Oops, looks like every single one of them was available. But if it wasn't available, let's go back here and see what we can do to show you what it's like if it's not available. Let's say we did, uh, I'm just going to choose one here that I probably know is already gone. I'll just do cars. So let me search for that real quick. Because I want, you, I don't want you to be confused. So what's going to happen here is if you if you pick out a bunch of keywords and a lot of them are already taken because you know a lot of domains are already taken up in this yellow area right here, it's going to say error and it's going to say this domain is unavailable and has been removed. You might have a huge list of that right here, but because of the type of keywords I'm going after, I only I didn't have any. So it's been removed from the list. You'll see it's gone here at the bottom. Now I'm going to check and see. I can go through here, I can wipe out a few, let's say I don't want these ones, I, I want everything else, let's say, I enter in the code one more time, 
It's going to check them. And if they're all available, which we already know they are, I can register them. And here it comes. It's loading. Takes a minute here because there's a lot of uh, processing that has to go on. All right. So what I would do, I would register them. I would fill out the information right here. If you already have an account, you'll just log in right here, and you'll make sure that every domain is in one account, so you don't have multiple accounts and you know lose track of where things are at. And keep in mind, if you register over five domains, you get free privacy registration. So that'll save you rather than paying the normal rate on those. Um, if you don't have an account, you might want to, when you come to our home page, just come up here at the top and create an account real quick. That way you get your own customer number. And then when you start looking for domains, you'll know exactly uh, your information. You can plop it in here and keep moving quickly. So that's how it works. Uh, hope you'll use it. Let friends know about it. And uh, that's it. Thank you. And you can get us at usavedomains.com. Thank you.